In this training, we're going to be going over how to view a site survey on your W7 access point. So first thing you want to do is make sure you log in to the IP address. If it's on default, it should be at 192.168.1.250. Your login information will be package and then password is package A. Now when you're first trying to find out what are the best wireless uh, settings such as channel mode, uh, channel transmit power for your W7 wireless access point, we're going to go to your 2.4 gigahertz wireless and we're going to select network settings. Now one image I'd like to show you just so you can understand why it is that we recommend choosing channels 1, 6, or 11 uh, you can see right here when you look at the channel width the other channels all interfere with one another the only channels that do not interfere are channels 1 channel 6 and channel 11 now that's not saying that it doesn't interfere with the other ones it does but those three do not interfere with one another so if you're going to have multiple access points on a job site this is why we'd recommend to have channels 1 6 or 11 because that way they can be separated and they should not interfere with one another. So going back to the W7 access point, when you click on your network settings and you get to this page displayed, you're going to click on the scan button. Now once you click on the scan button, it's going to start scanning for any wireless that may exist in the area. So you can see here there is quite a bit of wireless. So what we want to do is we want to take a look at your channels and we want to look at the signal levels. Those are the two very important factors. So we want the signal level normally recommendation is to be at negative 70 or lower, or if you're thinking positive numbers, negative 70 or higher. So it'd be negative 70, negative 75, negative 80, negative 90, and so forth. That's what you want to see when you're looking at signal levels from your access point to any other. So we have a negative 69, which is pretty close. Um, we have negative 85, and if we scroll down, we don't really see too much that is any closer than the negative 69. I have negative 64 here on channel 11, and then negative 69 is channel 1. Okay, so what we can do is we can probably go with the channel 6. A uh, channel 6 does not seem like it has anything really too far below a 79 and that is good because it really should not interfere too much oh there is a negative 71 but that's okay then the other option you would have too if you were to scan and you saw other devices that were below negative 70 so around negative 60 negative 50 negative 40 um, changing your channel mode especially if it's something that's existing on site with multiple access points you would go ahead and go to your channel mode and if you see here that you have some pretty low signal levels, then you're going to want to change that. So they'll be, instead of 2040 by default, it'll be set to 20. And the channel mode that I'm speaking of is right here. So after you go to network settings, it's at the top right above your channel option. So this we're doing channel 6 and you change your channel mode from 2040 to 20. And then once you're done making your changes, then you would just click on apply on the left hand side you click on save changes. I uh, thank you for joining us today for how to view a site survey uh, from the scan button and what are the particulars that you should be paying attention to.